Hello and welcome to this tutorial on RT. My name is Mojtaba Mahsuli and I'm going to explain how you can add your own model to RT. In RT, in Objects pane, under the model and under generic models, there is a script model. Using this model, you can write your own script and hand it into RT to run a reliability analysis. The language of this script is JavaScript, which is based on ECMA script. I have one of these scripts on my desktop, so I'm going to open it right now. As you see, there are if blocks, for loops, everything that is available in an ordinary programming language all is also available here. So you can write your own program and add it to RT. In InRisk website, on the software page and under the user guides, there is a, a manual for this ECMA a scripting language that fully explains in detail how you can write a script using this programming language. So now I'm one, I want to uh, add this a script to RT. So I right click on this script under model and gen generic and I create one of these models. I'm going to give it the name my script model. Display output is a flag that uh, sets if you want the outputs generated by this model to be shown in the output pane. I'm going to check it as true. Input parameter lists are a list of parameters that should be mapped into your model, namely, for example, random variables. I'm going to switch back to my model. In my model, I have two random variables, x1 and x2. So I'm going to instantiate them in RT. So I point to parameters in objects pane and then random variables and I right click on continuous random variable and I click on create. I'm going to give the, the name of this first one as x1. Its type is normal, its mean is uh, 2 and its standard deviation is 1. My second random variable is x2 so its object name is gonna be x2. Its type is normal, its mean is 3 and its standard deviation is 1. Now I'm going to switch back to my script model and to view its properties and I'm going to give the name of the x1 and x2 random variables as the input parameter list. The script file is the physical location of the script file on the hard disk. I'm going to give it as script dot js which is the name of the file on my desktop which is this file this path can be an absolute path starting for example with c column backslash or can be a relative path to where you are gonna save your rt input file the last property is ddm which is an abbreviation for direct differentiation method it's an efficient method to calculate the derivative of any expression and RT facilitates this method of differentiating, which is an efficient way of doing reliability analysis. This S script model also facilitates the implementation of DDMs in your own S script. So if I switch back to my S script model, there is a if block in the end that says if evaluate DDM, then do this. This evaluate DDM is a flag that is mapped by RT into this and if it's true this if block is gonna be run. In this if block I have differentiated my own my model uh, the outputs with respect to inputs. The outputs of this model as you can see are U1 and U2. So the notation for the differentiation is the following. If you want to calculate the derivative of U1 with respect to X1 the name of the variable should be d underscore u1 underscore d underscore x1. Now that my uh, script supports direct differentiation method, I'm going to give this flag as true. So as we saw, uh, the output of this model are u1 and u2. 
and these are the responses in RT. So I'm sh I should instantiate these responses now. Under parameters and under responses, I'm going to instantiate two generic responses, namely U1 and U2. I should give the my script model as the model that is uh, the model of these responses. So I click on each of these responses and under the model I select my script model. Now I need a function to be able to run this model. So I click on function and instantiate one function. I'm going to give it the name of my function. The expression I'm going to set it as u1 which is one of the uh, outputs of this model and as the gradient analysis type I'm going to select DDM since my model supports it. Now I'm going to save this RT input file in my desktop and I give it the name of my script test. Now I'm ready to run my model. I can do this by clicking on the function evaluation and selecting my function as the function that I'm going to evaluate. And I'm also uh, letting RT to evaluate the gradient of the function to see if my direct differentiation implementation works. By pressing on OK, the model is run and you can see the output over here. As you see, the value of u1 and u2 is evaluated, and also the gradient of the function is evaluated. You can use the print command in your script to print whatever is needed in RT output frame. I'm going to switch back to the script to show this. In these two lines, the print command is used. The first line prints u1 is equal to and then the value of u1, and the same goes for u2. When these two lines are run, RT prints these values over to output pane. The last feature that I'm going to present in this presentation is this debugging capability in RT. You can debug your script using RT. To do this, I'm going to right click on my script model and select debug. By doing this, the debugging environment that is built in, in RT is opened. As you can see, the script is loaded over here, and in the debug menu, all kinds of debugging uh, syntaxes uh, are present. For example, I can step into my model by pressing F11 and run my model line by line. I can also set a breakpoint and run my model up to that breakpoint and I can get the value of any variable using the command line over here. For example, I can get the value of u1, which at this point is equal to minus 0.866. Thank you for watching this tutorial on RT.